And then, um, how do you bounce back from this? You guys seem to be played so well for three and a half quarters, and then everything kind of fell apart. Yeah, uh, uh, it was tough. Tough way to lose. Um, but how do we bounce back? I mean, just get ready. You know, just playing tomorrow. Watch film, get your rest. Uh, you know, series not over. Uh, oh, go on the road and win one. Take it one game at a time. Not like if you try and win two in one day. That would be tough. Uh, just got to win the next game, honestly. This is a really bad time to learn tough lessons, but what kind of lessons can you take from facing a team that got ch the championship medal? Because they, they seem to make those championship plays down the stretch. Um, that is just not going to be easy. And we knew that coming in. Uh, they're a great team. And we, we it's not like we just found that out tonight. We knew that coming in. Uh, so, you know, just knowing that it's going to be tough. What do you think caused the, the offense to kind of stagnate in the last five, six minutes of the fourth quarter? It seemed like you just weren't getting the things that you, you necessarily let you wanted to get at that point. Um, you know, they, they start switching and kept kept us in front of them. Uh, myself included, settled for some threes and things like that instead of driving and attacking. Um, just something that we got to be aware, aware, aware of. Uh, you know, we did, we moved, we moved the ball pretty well throughout the game. But, you know, that last six or some odd minutes, uh, we got stagnant. And um, you know, just kind of made it tougher on ourselves. Jason, the first two wins for you guys in this series weren't in elimination games, but now going to Milwaukee down three two, what does the pressure feel like for your team and for you? Uh, you know, not think of it like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, we got a game Friday night. It's, you know, you can make it bigger than that, but uh, it's as simple as we got a game Friday night. And throughout the season, you try to win every game you play. And Friday night is not going to be any different. Uh, you know, tonight was tough. There's no way around it. It was a tough loss. But um, it's how you respond, how you bounce back. Uh, and I'm sure, you know, we, we're going to be ready on Friday. And what would your message be to your guys to respond how you want to? Uh, shit, we got a game on Friday. And, you know, what happened tonight is what happened. You know, we just got to get ready, uh, get our rest, and uh, watch some film and learn from it. And just know that we got a game Friday and we try and win. Jason, you, you, Marcus, uh, Ime, you've all come out here and, and kind of exuded a, like a level of confidence. Like, yes, it's this is a tough loss, but it seems like you guys all feel pretty good about going into Milwaukee and getting this win. And considering all the tough losses you've been through this season, what what gives you the confidence to to go in there for for this game, uh, game six? Um, I mean. I could come up here and pout and be sad. And I'm sure there would be a big story about how I'm, we're defeated and I don't believe in us. Or I could come in, how it's like, you can't change what happened. Um, it stings for sure. But, you know, it's 3 2 and it's the first of four. Um, and uh, there's no sense of being sad or putting your head down. Cause that's not going to, you know, do anything for next game. You know, always be optimistic and believe in yourself, believe in the group um, that we can win a game on Friday. Sideline out of bounds play late. Uh, looked like you were coming off an Al Horford screen in the other corner when Marcus went baseline. Uh, what were you supposed to do on that play? And what were you seeing uh, from that corner that a smart one baseline? Uh, I was supposed to come off the pin down from Al. Uh, that's what, what, what were you asking? 
they blocked him. I'm saying you asking what I was supposed to do. Yeah, and then what you saw, you know, as that play unfolds and, and he goes baseline. Yeah, a little miscommunication. Uh, I guess the play broke down and, and, you know, smart drove baseline. You know, Drew Holiday made a, a good play at the rim. Um, you know, it's as simple as that. Miscommunication, was that so, something broke down where you were supposed to do something else, somebody was supposed to do something else? Like, what was the miscommunication? <laughs> yeah. Uh, they had a ton of offensive rebounds in the fourth quarter. Spar was saying that it just came down to you guys just didn't get to the balls first and that you kind of lost that edge you guys had in the first few quarters. Why do you think that you guys just didn't have that extra spark at the end and chase those down? Uh, you talking about rebounding? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. That's a great question. Um, I think we just got, we got to be better. Boxing out, you know that they attack the glass on you know offense rebounds. Bobby Portis had 15 rebounds tonight, uh, seven offensive rebounds. So, uh, you know they're a big physical team, and we've known that all series. Uh, we we just got to be more aware of that. Um, you know, hit bodies and uh, grab the ball. Thank you.